Okay. So the graph shows the variation of the acceleration A of an object with time t. What is the change in speed as shown by the graph? We need to find the change in speed. Okay, so there is a concept here. The concept is, let us say there are three graphs we have. Now, this is displacement versus time. This is velocity versus time. And if this is acceleration versus time, so there is a connection between all these three things. Let us say there is a body which is moving with an acceleration, whether uniform or whether non-uniform. There will be a graph of acceleration versus time. So with respect to that, we can create the graph of velocity with respect to time. We can create the graph of displacement with respect to time for the same body. And there is a relation between all these three graphs. Now, what is that? Uh, when we go downwards, we find the slope of the curve. And when we go upwards, we find the area under the curve. So the concept is the area of VT curve will give you displacement. This is what I want to say. This is what I want to uh, tell. So, and the area of acceleration time curve, now we are moving upwards and we need to find the area. So area of the acceleration time will give you the velocity at that particular time. Although it is area, the unit is not meter square. Be very careful about that because this is physics. It's not maths. The area is not meter square every time. It depends on the x axis and y axis. So every time we have to calculate the dimension of the area that we are calculating according to the graph and whosoever, whichsoever is the physical quantity with that kind of that uh, unit, that is the physical quantity that we are able to find. So this is the area. So according to our question, we need to find the velocity, area and uh, acceleration and time curve is given. So the area of AT curve will be equal to velocity. So what is the area? Half into base into acceleration, base into height. So this is six. So your answer will be 36 meter per second. So your answer is C. There's no doubt about that. But there is another thing that I was telling you in the question earlier, in the theory earlier, like if we are going downwards, we, the, uh, we find the slope. Now, what is that? Slope means that the slope of ST curve, now we are moving downwards, it will give you velocity, the instantaneous velocity at that time. And the slope of VT curve will give you the acceleration, the instantaneous acceleration. Okay, so always remember along with these like these three graphs, if we want to go downwards, like if the displacement time is given and the question is about the velocity or the velocity time is given, the question is about acceleration, you need to find slope. If it is the other way around, acceleration time graph is given and they are asking velocity you need to find the area if they have given velocity time and they're asking question about displacement you need to find the area of vt curve i think with this your concepts will be clear okay then all the best